What's up ladies and gents, oh pop Tarts here, welcome back. We've got the season 4 guns, uh, continuing off. And today we've got the Galil, which is also known in-game as the CR-56 Amex. Uh, but we're just gonna call it the Galil, for you know, old time's sake and for simplicity. So, let's just get right into it. The Galil, unlike the Vector, which, you know, took a little bit of uh, getting used to, you know, it's sort of it had its own niche. The Galil is just great. This gun is amazing, I'm just gonna be straight up. This gun is fantastic. I love this gun a lot. And I think as soon as you get this gun, you're gonna like it too because oh boy, oh boy, does this gun feel solid. As I said it myself, this gun feels really clean. It's got a nice three shot to a good range. It's got fantastic iron sights. And it is a bit slow, but you can put some attachments that make it really, really, really fast. Or pretty dang fast. Depending on what you want, you know, nice balance. Maybe you wanna be a. You know, you want the long range and the suppressor for Warzone, so you can't be as fast. Still, it's fine. You can still make this gun really, really nice. So, I'm just going to a couple attachments that I thought were really noteworthy. Uh, a suppressor really worked well for me when I played with it. I really enjoyed it. And I really, really, really love that short barrel. The short barrel only knocks off a minimal amount of range. But what you get in return is a lot. You get good movement speed and you get really good ADS time. It's fantastic. And arguably, the irons are even cleaner than the other other ones, in my opinion. All the barrels change the iron sets just a little bit. But I think the short barrel has the best irons, in my opinion. Other things you can do is you can add no stock. Uh, I'm not really uh, a fan of no stock because the skeleton stock does the same sort of thing. And it gives you straight speed. But, you know, if you want the move movement speed, go ahead. Uh, lasers are fantastic. This type of grip as usual. Uh, uh, and a, a grip. I'd say you do need a grip. This gun does have pretty good recoil, but it's not amazing by any means. So you probably do want to add something like a Merc, or a Ranger, or a Compensator, whatever floats your boat. Something to mitigate the recoil. And you don't need a sight, because the irons are just fantastic on this gun, honestly. Uh, you can go long range for Warzone. It's got a long barrel that it really sh makes the range great. Or you can go the short range for like multiplayer. Whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, another thing though is... In this game, I tend to notice that I really love the extended mag attachments. However, I don't need them on this gun. I, for whatever reason, I, I have found that I don't need them. 30 rounds is more than enough. The only issue you'll have with this gun is you'll probably run out of ammo. Um, at first, a lot of people will probably be using the Galil because they'll unlock it. But as time goes by and less people use it, you'll probably need to run like Ammo Box, or Stopping Power, or Scavenger. Or something, you know, run an AK secondary or something that shares ammo. That's the main issue with this gun, you, is is ammo. And then finding ways to, so you don't run out. Uh, that's really about it. This gun is fantastic. I, I love it. And I highly suggest you all give it a shot. Um, anyway, so for the rest of this gameplay, it's from my live stream. I do stream on Twitch TV, uh, for the slash if you want to check me out. These are just my sort of first reactions using the gun. I really enjoyed it. Again, it felt so good. I just want to show some of my like pure, honest first reactions with, with with how using this and how just incredible it was for me to use it and how shocked I was and how good it was because it surprised the ever loving heck out of me how good this thing was. This thing is really, really, really good, and I think that you guys are gonna love it too. The vector I heard I heard some people loving it. Uh, you know, some people calling it great overpower and this kind of thing. I think the gun's just okay. It has its purpose in the game, for sure. I don't think it's weak. But I can't see myself using that. This, this I can see myself using. And just like the Bruin, um, I actually think there's a chance it might be too good in the future. And we might catch a stealth nerf, just like the Bruin did. Unfortunately, that's kind of how things work. Now, as to whether or not that happens, let's just hope not, but... That's all we can say. So, uh, anyway, I think that's about it. I just wanted to say this gun's fantastic. Go give it a shot. And, uh, the main thing I don't see a lot of people using is a short barrel. Use a short barrel. That thing's amazing. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please enjoy the rest of the gameplay and my sheer raw reactions to using this. And uh, please come check me out. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. And maybe give my Twitch a follow if you want. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Peace out. Whoa, dude! Holy fuck.
Oh shit, I missed. I wonder if I should put on this tactical suppressor. Maybe I should. Alright, fine. I'll mess around with it. Because I level it up. I'm gonna need some ADS attachments though. Counter UAV? Damn y'all annoying. <laughs> That's our gunship? Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a short barrel. Okay. Look at that recoil though. Jesus. The gunship's really fucking annoying, though. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Okay. I guess. Well, you run out of ammo so fast. Alright, let me try this with the short barrel. Okay, this is the barrel that the guy was using. This thing felt good. This is a setup he was using. This thing feels fucking clean, dude. The recoil isn't even that bad. The only bad thing is the, the range. Look at this shit, dude! Oh my god! Dude! That is clean as hell! Oh my god, I'm so shocked. Yo. This is amazing. <laughs> High key, low key, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Okay, okay, I can't hit him with that range. Behind me, he spawned there. Oh, he just ran. Oh, damn. All right. Can't beat the Fennec, I guess. Fine. I really neutered my range, though. I probably shouldn't put it, be putting a suppressor on this. Amazing how much like this one barrel can help your ADS time though. That's crazy. Crazy gun. Granulated wrap. I'm bad. That's not the gun. That's me. That was so shit. Oh my god. Access to my ammo box, which is kind of funny. Look at that. Look at that, my dude. Oh my god.
Long range and a close range version of this. Oh, behind me. Fifty fucking kills, dude. Fifty kills in my first game with this gun. This thing is clean as hell. Holy fuck. Is this my new favorite gun? I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 